Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you an easy way on how to hide things on the screen using the Gaussian Blur. It's very simple, it's very easy. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I am in DaVinci Resolve right now. This is the clip where I want to add my Gaussian Blur. You see, this uh, code here, I want to hide it. You can hide an email address, a password, anything really, even a face. Okay, so it's very easily done. In the next two minutes, you will know how to do it. So the first things first, what you have to do now, you have to go and duplicate this clip over here. So for this, you have to go and press on option and drag this up just like this, you see? But then you see that the audio is copied as well. You see, in order to not do that, go and press command Z. And if you want to copy just the video clip, what you have to go and do, go here, you see, this is the link selection. Press on this one and then go and press option and drag this up. You see, and when you do this, then obviously you don't have the audio there. Go back and uh, put it on. Now what you have to go and do, make this timeline just a little bit bigger. Just go on the plus. Something like this should be good. And then let's see where we need to put our Gaussian Blur. Okay, so if I want to start my Gaussian Blur here, now I have to go and make this clip smaller, just like this. Where do you find the Gaussian Blur? It's very, very easy. You have to go here on the left to open effects. Okay, go and search Gaussian Blur. And then it's gonna appear here. Go and grab this Gaussian Blur and put it on the top clip. Once you put it on the top clip, you see everything is blurred. Now, if I want to disable this clip, you'll see what's happening. I press D and then we can see this clip underneath. But if I press D and I enable the clip on top, you see everything is blurred here. Now we need to choose the area we want to have it blurred. It's very, very easy. For this, you have to go to transform over here, press on this and then go and choose crop. Once you clicked on crop, go and choose the area we want to add Gaussian Blur to. It's as simple as this. You see, just like this, just like this. And then you see, we have this area blurred. Okay, we're gonna make it smaller. Okay, and then go and press again on this. You see, and then you have this blurred. Now, if you want to have this effect just a little bit less, if you feel it, that is too much, maybe it's a little bit too much. I want to make it a bit less. You have to go to inspect over here, toggle inspector on, close to video. You're going to see on the right effects, go and click on effects, make sure this clip is selected and then go here on Gaussian blur and make this strength smaller. If you make this strength smaller, you can see that the Gaussian Blur disappears completely. Or you can have it like way too much. It's quite interesting because if you go all the way there, the Gaussian Blur sort of disappears. So it works somewhere between 0, 1 and 0, 7, you see? But anyway, somewhere in the middle there should be fine. Eh, I'll put it just like this. If you want to make this transition when it appears a bit smoother, not that abrupt, what you can do, you go here and then you drag this to the right, you drag this to the right again, and you're going to see we're going to have a much more smoother transition. Have a look. And that's all friends thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it interesting and useful and i hope you got some value out of it and if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care bye bye